great assumption. Hello. Hello, chat. What is up? Welcome back to the stream. How y'all doing today? Hope you're having a wonderful one. Let's talk about all the fun things we like to talk about on this damn stream. Evan, thank you for 10 months. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I am live late. It is quite late. You might have noticed. East Coasters definitely noticed. Uh, not how I wanted to go live today, but I've been kind of scrambling for a project I'm working on. Okay? I've been kind of scrambling. I, I figured things out, but it's taken a lot of time. I even wanted to go live yesterday, but I've literally just been working on this nonstop last two days. So... I figured I'd just go live. Honestly, because March Madness made me realize it's not that big of a deal if I just go live for an hour at 9 p.m. That's chill. I did finish Cersei. In fact, it's fresh in my mind. I'm down to talk about it. However, I imagine people in the parasocial club might want a larger heads up and the ability to watch it live. So I might wait until tomorrow to do it. Uh, I could do it today. I actually literally have no problem doing it today. I just feel a bit bad if, you know, like, like I just fucking bang it out. And everyone's like, dude, what the fuck? I didn't even, I was, I literally spent all month reading and I get an hour heads up. Like, you know, it'd be pretty valid feedback. So anyway, chat. So do you have any moral problem with it? With the book? Moral problem with the book. Moral problem. I don't know if I've considered if I have moral problems with books before. Moral problems. I don't know if I read books with the intentions of seeing if it aligns with my morals. Uh, all right, chat. What is up? Welcome back to the stream. You might have noticed Mar March Madness is over. I did not go live yesterday for the first time in a whole ass month. Uh, which, honestly... You can be friends. Felt fucking amazing. <laughs> that felt fucking amazing. Are you kidding me? Dude, it, it, hey, when I said, hey, guys, I'm going to go live tomorrow for sure, 100%, and then I fucking lied? Dude. <laughs> yep. Cha-ching. All right. Bink. Got your asses. Got your asses. Uh... You lie, you go to hell. Okay, a little aggressive there, Pasta. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Could tone it down just slightly. Slightly. Thank you, Bruno. Chef Juano. A5 Wag. Zach the Creator. Dr. Juicy. Logan Barrow, a new member. Are you watching Connor Cyclothon? Very often. Yes, very often. Ooh, $20. According to ESPN, I am ranked the 300,000 uh, out of two, 20, 22 million people. I'm assuming you're referring to March Madison, in which case, congratulations. You are on the top 1%. A little over, maybe. Top 1.5%. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, Don't stop there, though. Dave Robinson. Wait, how the fuck is somebody a member for 39 months? Oh, it's a Twitch Prime. It's a Twitch Prime. I was like, how the hell? Dave, thank you, 25 months, not Reaper 17. Tajana, Ashley, King Croyal, Cosmo, XP Gold, Mackenzie, Squishy Panda. Thank you very much for the members. Ships. Unpaid intern, when? What day is it today? Second? Probably in uh, five days. Five days. The Yard collab with Almost Friday TV. I don't think the Yard makes sense. Like, literally doing the Yard with a, a group that big. But I do like... Uh, Almost Friday TV. I think they're a funny group. Chuck C. Butters. Nicholas Yingling. Retro Flow. Lopedex. Calvin. Why unpaid intern so soon? Just the edit of the live stream. So I don't think it's so soon. I watched unpaid intern with my girlfriend. She really liked it and found it funny. Double use in chat. 
Do you have a favorite color? Purple. How much did you spend on unpaid intern? I don't know. A lot. Jeremy Rasmussen, thank you for the membership. But I think we're making money on it. If that answers your question. We're not losing money, at least. Borgoats, Soggy Pizza Pea, Caterliana, just a dude. Appreciate all the memberships, everybody. I appreciate it very much. Uh, all right, chat. Today, we are going to watch the new Mr. Beast video. Uh, and tomorrow, I was actually going to do this today, but again, I got a little wrapped up in things, so I wasn't able to pull it off. Uh, tomorrow, however, we are going to be doing this. This is going to take a while, I'm realizing. We are going to be ranking every Google Doodle game, which, again, I did not realize how many there were. <laughs> I do think a lot of them are within the Champion Island. Yeah, it seems to be like at least 10 of them here. So if you remove that, that uh, there's quite a few dupes maybe. I guess dupes isn't the right term. But uh, but we'll do that tomorrow. We'll go through all of them. Uh, the reason is because I played Magic Cat Academy. And that was the best part of the YouTube games. And I was like, well, fuck. If they made Magic Cat Academy, they might have made some other good shit. Uh, I watch you when you first got fired from a vape company and you said you quit. I watched you for a while, but stopped around mid-2020. Just got back and want to say congrats. Lemonade, what if I told you I lied about quitting? I got fired. <laughs> Thank you, the Colon 3 cast. Thanks for liking my song, RK9 Addicts. I don't know what you're referring to, but you're welcome. Scary Cooper, thank you to 22 months. Smarth, thank you for the membership. Are you going to watch your vid with Zahn and Valkyrie? No shot. Dude, Anthony fucking Padilla didn't even show up for it. You know what I mean? Right? Uh, I'm going to watch it. Bro didn't show up for his own damned podcast. He wasn't even there. The comments are crazy. Really? I found them to be fine. I mean, I'm sure there's crazy ones. Let me clarify. But the ones with upvotes seem fine. But yeah, it was just me, Ray, and Hassan shooting the shit. Just chatting. Uh, but yeah, check it out if you haven't. Legendary streamers respond to assumptions about them. The term legendary streamer is not one that I take kindly to. Not because it's not flattering. Because it certainly is flattering by title. But doesn't it give a... Sort of... Washed status? You know? Yeah. Yeah, kind of historic, ancient in a way, you know? Like, if you talked even while he was alive about the legendary warrior Achilles, it'd be because he kind of already wrote his story. His legends have been told, you know? You don't really call someone legendary on the come up. You call him legendary on the come down, you know? I'm 28! I'm 28, man! Testicular torsion. Is that how you spell torsion? I think you're wrong. I think there's a T in it. Torsion. I think you spelled it right. What if, what if you did unpaid intern with the Yard, yard Boys and, I don't know, Josh Man or something? We need to get you in a fucking creative meeting. <laughs> Guys, I got something for you. I got something for you. It's unpaid intern. Just get, like... I don't know, just get like the yard and like fucking Josh. I don't, and then fucking, what if one of the jobs is like, you guys like fucking, what if you just like fucking come? Like just fucking come your little heads off. I'm going to leave for a smoke break. That's good. We need you, DJ Skits. Adam Payne, Dondo, Double Downtown, Nozimus, Criff, thank you very much. You should play Backpack Battles. People have told me this. Seems like I would like it, but. I got some shit to do. We do have a date for Elden Ring. Should I leak it? We do have a date. I think the date is pretty set. Let me leak it. We are officially doing Elden Ring. Seamless. What's that word I'm looking for? Co-op. Elden Ring. Seamless co-op mod. Me and Squeaks are going to go live and stay live until we beat the game. Whether it takes us one day, two days, 102 plus hours, that is what the game plan is. 
And the adventure will start April 18th. April 18th, we're going to run it. And to make things a little extra spicy, not only are we running it, bear in mind this co-op mod, uh, mod is harder than regularly playing the game. Not only are we running it on the 18th, we are also going to be doing a bit of challenge. A bit of a challenge. Specifically, every time me and Squeaks wipe 10 times, we're going to spin a wheel. A wheel of punishments. So that's the game plan. How long do you think it'll last? So I thought about this a bit. I look, I don't want it to go that long, right? Like, just for my life, it is worse the longer it goes. However, the seamless co-op mod makes the game harder. I think... The one factor that's probably the most important is that me and Squeaks are better at the game than we were when we first played it, right? You know, just like naturally having put in 100 hours, you get better. So I think that's going to matter a lot. I'm not going to be as good as I was at the end of my playthrough, but I'll be better than when I started, you know, and I'll pick it up much faster. So I think, I think it's going to take us 60 hours. And that's not of play time, that's of up live time. So subtract maybe 8 from that, 15, 16, maybe I would say 40, 45 hours of gameplay time. 40, 40 to 45. That's my guess. I could be off. I'm not, look, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a proud man. I can have some humility. I'm happy to be wrong. But I think that's how long it'll take. Can you stop talking and watch a Mr. Beast video? Okay, first off, yeah, okay. Adam, you are a new member here, so I'll acquiesce your request. But second off, chill, bro. Bro, I, I, it's been a day since I've been... Let me catch up, right? Like, this is like... I said, hey, like, imagine this. I said, Adam, yo, can you come over to my house? We're going to watch a Mr. Beast video. And he said, yeah, sure, dude. And then I'm updating you on your life, or on my life. I'm like, yo, Adam, oh, by the way, dude, I had some fucking crazy shit happen. Like, next week, I'm going to play this fucking game with my friend Squeaks. And then you're like, dude, stop talking. I want to watch a video. And it's like, Adam... Maybe you should just watch the video on your own. Like, don't come to my house to watch it. Right? Like, am I crazy? Like, I invited you into my house. We're gonna do it. But you let me yap a bit. You're in my damn home. Can, I, can a man not yap in his damn home anymore? Have the liberals taken everything? <laughs> I don't know who to blame. I assume it's woke. All right, let me tag the entirety of my Discord. Let them know I'm live. Watching a Mr. Beast video very soon because Adam won't shut the fuck up. Discord tagged. Fucking Adam, dude. Watch a Mr. Beast video. Fine, Adam. I'll fucking watch the video. Evan Turing, thank you for the $5. Day not of trying to, get, trying to get Ludwig's attention to play chess. Evan, we're not playing. <laughs> Vernon, 14 minutes ain't bad. People don't tell you how much you get nervous when you're on the big stage. All right, chat. It is that time once again to watch a Mr. Beast video to farm it for as many views in dollars as possible. Yeah, Mr. Beast. However, this time we have drama. All right. We have some drama to discuss because this new Mr. Beast video we are watching is called Seven Days Stranded on an Island. And this drama is not related to me not being invited or whatever. I promise you, I don't want to fucking go on an island for seven days straight. It's related to the video itself. You see, I've heard rumors that this is Mr. Beast's worst performing video in a while. I don't know why. But it seems to be the case, just based off the views that it has compared to the other, to the other videos, 
It's not even at 100 million. Now, let me rephrase that. It, dude, it's not even at 100 million. It's at 73 fucking million. But, you know, everything scales up. So in the same way that if I get a video that gets 730,000 views, a 1 to 100 factor, as opposed to 1 million views, which is kind of what I aim for, it feels a little bit worse for me. I'm assuming that factor also affects Mr. Beast. Now, I'm curious why this is a worse performing video. And, and again, I don't actually have the analytics. I don't know if that's true. I've just read people say this online that it performed worse, right? It seems like it should hit 100 million in the next 11 days. I don't fucking know. We'll see. I definitely don't think it's doing as well as like face your fears or whatever. But I saw, I think, Mike, I forget his last name, Wazowski, the guy who does the podcast with Logan Paul, Mike Majak, whatever the hell. He basically tweeted out, imagine being Mr. Beast and having an emergency meeting because your video doesn't hit 100 million views. And Mr. Beast replied with like this emoji. And I thought to myself, imagine, that is crazy. <laughs> so anyway, let's take a look, let's watch it. And I want to see if I agree. Because oftentimes, and you guys have experienced this on YouTube, what has more views doesn't necessarily mean it is better. All right, we know this. All right, a lot of the time you watch it, it's not better. Sometimes the deeper cut stuff's better, you know? Case and point, Brent Rivera, when he rips someone off, usually gets more views. I think the person he ripped off oftentimes has a better video. Before I jump in, I got $100. It says, if you want to talk to a Texan, let me know. I don't think being a Texan is as valuable as you think it is. It is one of the most populous states in America. It's not, anyway. Second $50, don't watch Mr. Beast videos. Okay, dude, I am I feel bad because you just gave me $100. I'm going to do the opposite of both of the things that you asked me to do, which I feel bad about, but it is true. Thank you very much, though, RK9ATX. That's, uh, appreciate that. Uh, all right, let's get to it. We got it. We are now stranded on this deserted island in the middle of the ocean. And we're going to be stranded here for the next seven days. And that boat that just left was our only way out of here. Why do we keep doing this? I thought it'd be fun. Dis I do think, all right, I haven't pre-watched, but I did watch 90 seconds of this video. I watched 90 seconds of this video, and I literally, I actually did, I literally stopped, and I said, no, if I don't watch it on stream, people are going to yell at me. I need to watch it with chat. But I do think Mr. Beast is a problem. And the problem is his why. I feel like a lot of his videos don't have a good why. Or the why isn't from Mr. Beast. It is from the participant in his challenge. I'll give you an example. The video facing your biggest fears to win $800,000. The why is because the guy wants to win 800 k That's why he's facing his fears. That's a cool thing to, to get hooked onto. But like the seven days on an island or 50 hours underground, we never really explore a why. Because I think the why, if we honestly answer, is because it would have, it would get views. Right? But I think people yearn for a why. You know who's really good at having a why? Ryan Trahan. That motherfucker always got a why. He's got too many whys. He makes like a snack company and it's like, oh, to make money? He's like, no. The why is much deeper. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Despite its beauty, civilization has not been able to survive on this island for over 250 years. Ooh, but CGI. For the next seven days, we're going to try to. And we only have around four hours until it gets dark. It's hot out here. We need to build a shelter immediately. I mean, why don't we just camp here? This spot looks pretty good. So, Thank you, that dude, I Guru, for the 20 gifted. By us going and looking for wood, and you two will prep camp. Yes. So this guy, this that. guy is just full, he's full time now. What's his name again? Sorry, help me out. Mac, right? I was going to say Matt, but it's just because the name Mac's not so popular. Mac just seems, he's, he's full time. He's just here now. It kind of makes sense, though, I will say. I don't think it's replacing anyone, but I do think that the Mr. Beast crew is getting busier. All right? Carl, Chandler, Chris, like, they're all just busier because they got a little more famous. They got a kid. They got their own business going on. They got a wife, whatever it is. 
I think it makes it harder for them to be like, yeah, I'll go to an island for seven days. Mr. Beast, as always, as we always do, let's go to the island for seven days. So I think, I think you know, it kind of helps have some fresh, fresh meat. <laughs> fresh meat for for him to, to munch on. Munch on, come on, Chandler. How do we prep camp? You know, I don't know. And so we immediately got to work, but we had to be careful because above you is the most dangerous tree on earth. It contains poisonous tree sap that could literally kill you. Why are we still standing here? And meanwhile, <laughs> Nolan and Mac were making a fire pit. Look at Mac. It's a pretty good fire, would you say? Well, it's not a fire yet. Well, I'd say it's a pretty good fireplace. And Sean started constructing the frame for our shelter. So Mac was on air rack before? He used to be an air rack guy. I feel like I remember him in an air rack face your fears video. I feel like the maybe it's called face your fears. And he's a Mr. Beast guy now. Or at least has been in a few Mr. Beast videos. There's a little yoinkage going on. Is this like the fucking NBA? <laughs> Mr. Beast Corp has acquired the rights to Mac in exchange for a first round draft pick to Eric. <laughs> He's going for the short term championship. Eric's going for the long term team. He, he wants to build a young team, you know? Drafting a bunch of 18 year olds. <laughs> he was also doing the thing where he bullied the pilot. Oh, yeah, he was in that video. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Looks like looks like Mr. Beast got Mac. That's that's funny. Imagine that happened to me. Like slime is just now with Linus Tech Tips. Hey, Linus, what's the computer? I don't know why I'm doing this for Slime's voice, but I just I lose slime. He's not on the yard. He does fucking he does the WAN show with Luke and Linus. I'd be heartbroken. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'd be so sad. He's not worth that much. That's a timeout. That's a timeout. I'm sorry. That's a timeout. You can't be sub that long saying that. You sub too damn long. Are you sure that's not going to fall on us? Yep. I feel like Sean's like our survival dad. It's been called worse. And while gathering some more materials, we came Sean across was, some Sean uh, was in another video. Bro, oh, look at these chickens over here. Hey, wait, stop running away. And it wasn't long until I found out why the chickens were afraid of us. Hey, what are we doing over here? Ah. Uh, Wait, what is that? Oh, uh, uh, it's a knife. Were you, know? you going to try to kill one of those chickens? Please let me eat a chicken. We don't kill chickens. Jimmy, what did you eat for dinner before you got here? Don't ask. <laughs> we spent the rest of Dude, I thought he said dumbass at first. I was like, now I know I didn't get 100 mil. <laughs> Man, let him kill a chicken. Am I crazy? I'm about that. I think that's chill. Maybe fishing's better, but... You're the asshole. <laughs> no, you guys are just fucking. I'm not going to lie. I find this to be the lamest take ever because many people have this take. No, don't kill the animal. And then they pull up to their nearest Albertsons and they go for the cheapest chicken possible. <laughs> the least ethically sourced one. And then they walk out like nothing happened. I'm just saying you should be willing to do it yourself if you're willing to buy it yourself, you know? And I don't think this is like a needless operation. They are surviving on an island for seven days. So day one, preparing our camp, which was... You, you, you just admit you don't want to see it, right? You just want it to be out of sight, out of mind, and you don't want to deal with it. It's not like some higher morals that you're abiding by, unless you happen to be vegan or vegetarian, in which case I hold my tongue. Pretty simple. I'm going to show you guys around the camp. This is the fire and where we're going to make food. Come over here. And this is where we sleep. That concludes the tour. We pulled over our survival crate, which contains food, water, and most importantly, a flare in case someone gets hurt. And by the time the sun went down, we had everything figured out, except one thing. Wait, hold up. Isn't sunscreen flammable? It's <laughs> <laughs> the end of day one. And they never watched Survivor before. Where you're supposed to, you make the flint, yes. You put it in a bed of leaves, sure. But then you have to cover it and then blow. All right, you have the cover and blow. And I'm already starting to get I a can make a fire. I'm hoping to get some good I can make sleep fire. Tonight, and I hope it doesn't rain. Tomorrow, we need to build a bigger shelter. And by we, I mean dad over there is going to build a bigger shelter. I got I you. Got... Oh. 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 Jimmy, you're like mom. Sean's dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go to bed. I'll see you on day two. During the first night of sleep, we tossed and turned a lot. And by we, I mean me. 
So, it was a good thing we were fixing this the next day. The objective for day two is simple. We need to build a bigger and rainproof shelter. We need more comfortable seats because my butt hurts. And we need a better fire pit. My butt also hurts. <laughs> Damn, editor's taking shots. Sean's on that, uh... Live in the circle for a hundred days, win a hundred million dollars or whatever the fuck video, right? I think I remember that one. That's it, right? Yeah, 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 okay. We're looking for very long, sturdy sticks we can put across the top of our shelter. That way when it rains, instead of it drooping in the leaves and tarp, it flows off the back. And while we were busy Smart. gathering resources for our new shelter, Clap Mac and Nolan were busy looking for new seats. Do you see that? Yeah. What's that orange thing? I mean, you can use it as like a bouncy seat. Dude, it's a buoy. Oh, dude, there's a net. We can use the net to catch chickens. No! Oh, a lot of bugs! A lot of bugs! A lot of bugs! Jimmy, we found an ocean <laughs> boot. It's like a bouncy seat. Did you steal this? No. D it did he steal it? It washed up on a beach. I guess that's not stealing. Oh, yeah. that is nice. <laughs> OK, I'll take it. For the rest of the day, Chandler, Sean, and I finished upgrading the shelter. Keep going, keep going. There's still sun in here, but it's because the sun's super low. 90% of the time, this will be shade now. Well, Matt you know what's funny is I, I've been watching Survivor. I've never been a Survivor guy. I'm not going to pretend I have been. But I watched season 45, and I'm watching season 46. And what I noticed, I don't know if you guys are Survivor watchers, they don't really put in them making the shelter. They kind of just skip that shit, like, outright. You know what I mean? It's just like, bang, we got a shelter. You know? They'll put, like, cutting a coconut in the conversations, but they really don't keep it. I imagine they used to, but it probably just got boring. Because there's just, like, a thing you do, and it doesn't really change. I'm a Q hater. All right, sorry, not to be on Survivor Talk for a minute here. I'm a Q hater. I thought he going in, he was going to be, like, a, you know, a fucking a, a Chad. A David Goggles type beat. But he really just doesn't seem that goaded. Like, every physical challenge, I'm like, you know. You look at Q, and then you look at Hunter, who's actually goaded, and you're like, okay. Back in Nolan got coconuts. All right. Be careful. It's a big knife. <sighs> Coconut! Oh, <laughs> good. And of course, tried to catch chickens. Hey, chickens! Run! Run! Run away! What are you, what are you doing? All right, I saved them. He unsheathed it like he was a samurai. coming to an end. How would you say it was? I'm tired, but I'm doing good. Nolan? Fantastic. I think we can all agree we are doing way better than we thought we would. But little did I know, how is there 19 night, minutes left? Things were about to get a whole lot worse. But for now, if you're wondering why we're in the ocean, look at Chandler. A little rub a dub the dub. For us to shower. We need our other water for cooking and, you know, not dying of dehydration. You want to know what I noticed, boys? What? What's that? We had 10 cartons of water. Okay. And now we're down to six. It's day two. I know. I'm going to be the adult here and just say it. Everyone needs to be more responsible with their water consumption. I agree. Wait, what are we agreeing to? Sean, I agreed for you. Uh, okay, perfect. It's also dark. This does not seem like Chandler's video. I'm surprised he's here. No disrespect to Chandler. I actually find him to be very charming, very funny. I feel like when he speaks, it's usually worth listening to. It, it, this just, you know, he's not a survive in the wilderness guy. He's like a... We went to the fanciest hotel in the whole world, guy. Thank you, the 10 gifted Trevor. Dark, we need to go to bed. In case you didn't piece it together, that guy, Mac, is the guy that lost money in this video and this video. He's basically lost $1.5 million on the channel in the last two months. It's a harsh way to introduce somebody. Even though we <laughs> upgraded our shelter, the second night of sleep was worse than the first. We didn't know it, but this island was infested with bugs that ended up biting us all throughout the night. And for whatever reason, Chandler and I got the worst of it. Isn't that, that shit's related to like your pheromones, right? Your blood type. All that can kind of just impact the amount of bites you receive. I don't know if pheromones is the right word. Your waft. Your diet, your blood type. There's just like some shit that randomly it's like, ah, you get bit more than other people. Like I don't get bit that much. I don't know, they don't fuck me. I think I smell like dog ass. And they're like, Bleh. And I keep my blood sugar low. I got no sleep last night. 
I said I smell like dog ass. Probably the most miserable thing I've ever done. Look how many bug bites I have on just my hand alone. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. And while we caught up on some much needed sleep, you can probably guess what the boys were gonna do without supervision. Catch Smoke chickens. weed. Smoke weed. Oh. No, let's catch fish. So yesterday, over by uh, that debris on the beach, me and Nolan found a bunch of net. Today, the boys are gonna help me make a chicken trap. The plan is basically to put a giant net right here, tie to a string up there, and then <laughs> catch a chicken. How would cutting the strings make the chicken get caught? It would just... Let's go. Now, if I was awake to stop them, this never would've happened. But Fat the fuck, thank you. <laughs> Fat fuck, thank you for the $10. Uh, clipped the dog ass. Thank you very much. Andrew Wang, thank you for the 10 gifted. Sorry, I laughed at your name. It's very aggressive. That It was spelled that way. I'm reading out the name. I'm reading out the name. I don't call people that. I don't make fun of people for their intrinsic qualities that they cannot change unless it's their age or their height or the hair on their head. There's a few others. Sometimes I just make fun of people based off the gender. They Let's just move on. The fact that I felt like I was literally dying in this moment. The boys were officially going rogue. That is strong net. Is that? There we go. <laughs> Over the next 30 minutes or so, the boys cut the net into a perfect square. They then hoisted the rope up over the tree, tied the rope to all four <laughs> corners, and it was ready. <laughs> that works. That's pretty nice. So after a quick reset and placing some bait, it was time to catch a chicken. What is this? Trap to catch chickens with? Can I see the rope? No, you cannot. Is that what you guys were doing this whole time? Yeah. yeah. I thought you were doing something actually productive. I'll be honest, at first, this seemed like a complete waste of time. Because for the next three hours, they waited and waited. But for some reason, Mac in particular was not ready to give up. And finally, after even more waiting, Dude, he fucked up. What's that Mario Party game where you drop a giant trap on a bunch of Goombas? He had such a juicy drop right there. He could have like five. What a throw. He only got like two. It's pronounced P-hat P-huck. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just For the people who are going to watch this on YouTube later, it's called P-hat P-huck. Okay? All right? Like... I, how was I, I, I assumed that was a problem. I assumed I was going to, I was going to answer my own question. Oh, this chick is actually pretty chill. Yeah. This is the new Brian in honor of the bird from Raft. You know what? With how nice you've been, I'm sure once you put Brian down, it will continue to hang out with us. Put it down. Time to put Brian down. Brian, Brian. no, Brian. What'd you do to Brian? I thought he was our friend. What? I wish they fucking broke his neck. <laughs> I wish they broke his neck, defeathered it, skinned it, and then ate it. Am I crazy? I wish in front of 100 million children they fucking murdered that bird and ate every single morsel of its body. I wish they didn't leave a drop off either. I wish they let it bleed out and camp for a day. I, am I crazy? I think every damn kid in America, in the whole world actually, but I can only speak for America, every damn kid in America should be forced to see the process in which the food comes to a grocery store. Yeah, I don't know the exact age, maybe not fucking seven. But like you're a damn 16-year-old? Like, yeah, you should see how the chicken gets to the grocery store. You should see how the egg gets there, how the beef gets there. You know, that's not, that's normal. Back in the day, you didn't get the choice. You just had to know because that's how you got the damn food. Unless you're like some fucking royal son of a bitch and then you were inbred. So it's like you're not really winning there either. So anyway, that's my thought. Fix your genders first. Okay, I'm just... I, I got baited by this. But th that that pisses me off. Because in my mind, it's like fucking... Let's just, let's just live and let live. We, we have 0.5% of the population taking up 50% of the Discord for what? 
because it's basically used as turf war for fucking right and left wing parties. And I'm like, hey, let's just li live and let live. How about we fix the fucking edu education? All right. And don't even get me started on the vaccine. I did catch him with a trap, so. And by the time Brian had been caught and freed, it had gotten significantly less hot outside, which honestly gave all of us enough energy for a spontaneous adventure. See that island behind me? We're about to go do it, Mac. Let's do it. Now I know what you're thinking. Why swim away from a perfectly good island to a rock in the middle of the ocean? And honestly, because you need content in the seven day challenge. Honestly, I don't have a good answer for you. This See, Jimmy, you need a why. Jimmy, you need a why. You can't, you need a why, man. There's no, why are you doing this challenge? Is it because you need to disconnect from, from society because you're on the phone too much? You know, he needs a why. $100 donation. How are you doing, Ludwig? RK9ATX, I got to say. Respectfully, you've given me $200, and I appreciate that. But you got to stop giving me money. You give me too damn much. All right. Once we're past 100, I don't know how to thank you further. I feel like it's damn Christmas Day and I've received too many gifts and I don't know how to say thank you anymore. But I do appreciate the 100. It's very kind. To Jesh, $50. Scam merch promotion. P.S. I've been spamming this for so long. Since the beginning of the stream, even. Bought two Super Chats and membership. You're literally scamming me. P.S.S.S. Can I get a free sweater? Spent everything on this. Scam merch promotion for scamming us. What? Do you, wait, I don't get what you're saying. But if you guys don't know, if you go to Ludwig.gg right now, we only have a couple of hundred uh, scam sweatshirts left. Or, sorry. I, people got mad at me. They're not hoodies. They're sweaters. I think. I think that's right. They're not hoodies. They're crew neck. Crew neck. We have scam crew necks. Or scam hoodies. Who gives a fuck? I'll scam your ass. They're hoodies. They're not. They're not. Anyway, Ludwig.gg if you want to buy it. The store is only open till, I think, next week. All right, that's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you to Jesh for reminding me. Feels really counterintuitive. I think this is a testament to just how bored we are. Feels like we're wasting a lot of water and energy. Mac, what are you doing? There are so many fish down there. Really? Yeah. There's a stingray. Look at all those fish. Stingray scare me. Those waves look really big over there. And they're coming right at us. Oh, here comes a big one. We're almost there. Didn't Stingray kill... <laughs> what's his name? Steve? Look at the island over there in the background. And here we are. Look at this. We got water splashing on both sides. They also took out Odysseus. Extra slippery rocks. Going up now? Oh, gosh. Oh, this is crazy. This looks so cool. We did it! I don't know why we did it, but we did! How do we get off this? And then how do we get back to our island? Well, the fastest way off is jumping. I'm not jumping. During our last few hours of sunlight, I felt a couple raindrops. We noticed the storm approaching us on the oh, horizon. No. We got on the island. The forecast said it wasn't supposed to rain. There's monster clouds over there. We need to press. Let's go, boys. Come on, guys. Right. Right. Fix the hut. Oh, no. There's <laughs> rain coming. Protect our Panic. Side. Get as many palm leaves as you can right now. Taylor, more leaves. And once we ran out of daylight, we huddled up under our new and improved shelter and awaited a night of rain. The worst part about this is the unknown. Do they just have some Asteras? Is that what the fucking... Not to be a gizmo gadget guy. They got some big-ass light bulbs. They get five gifted. No wonder they got so many damn bugs. Hey, I got a tip for you. Get rid of the big-ass fucking light bulb. Bam. Problem solved. So no navy blue ones were made? No. We have navy blues... That we can make for pre-order, but the gray ones were the ones initially made. Take the five get against Cheerios and P Hat P Huck gave me another ten dollars and says it rains. Spoiler, dude, what the frick? Don't give me ten dollars to spoil the video I'm watching. It's so dark you can't even see how close the rain is anymore. Turns out we got extremely lucky. The storm ended up just missing us by a hair. But what Yo, don't you look fucking dumb, uh, P Hat Fuck? P hat fuck didn't know if you didn't know you were wrong what i can say is later in this video we won't be so lucky look at this oh good morning everybody 
Let me try that again. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Good morning. Mr. B. You guys got a case of the Mondays? After four days on the island, our morning routine consisted of the following. First, we'd wake up and complain about how bad we slept. Sleeping last night was rough. And then we'd use... <laughs> No disrespect to Nolan. I mean this so genuinely. No disrespect to Nolan. Imagine waking up next to this for every day for the rest of your life. We'd wake up and complain about how bad we slept. Sleeping last night was rough. And <laughs> Sleeping last night was rough. Felt better that you were by my side, though. <laughs> His morning voice, bro. He's got that vocal fry. Sexy. Then we'd use the bathroom, sometimes together. I'm nervous peeing at the same time as you guys. And then eat yet again a bag meal. What you want to hear something crazy? I know I'm Would you go if Jimmy had invited you? No. Dude. I would have said, Jimmy, let's pivot the idea a bit. All right? Seven days Epstein Island. <laughs> Buddy, think about it. Hey, we were too young to have been there anyway. Me and you, we're young, we're young chaps. Epstein Island, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with an idea here. Uh, I was going to say something wise before I brought up Jeffrey Epstein. Fuck, what was it? Shit. We're a little tired of our bag meals, so let's just say we've got a solution. All right, this is as far as I go. Have fun. Oh, God. All this for some fish? You have to go very, very far out to actually find fish. The fish aren't going to be in this light blue water. They're going to be in the dark blue water out there. So. This is a really good idea, a really bad one. Probably a bad one. The plan was a little dangerous, but simple. Mac is. Is bro biting my shit? Going to act as a human motorboat and drag Sean and Nolan out into the depths of the ocean. And Sean, being the expert survival dad that he is, is going to catch those fish and bring them back to shore for us to eat. You guys got the rope? I also brought around 500 feet of rope that they're tied to. So if at any point they need help, we'll just yank them in. Right, Chandler? I remember. When they were taking a piss on the island together, it made me remember when I filmed the video of Mr. Beast surviving 50 hours of a plane crash. Because I went pee in the video. And then Mr. Beast has like fucking a bunch of nerds who work on his team, right? And one of them is like, you cannot pee in the video. It hurts retention. And they had a huge debate about this apparently. And they've cut out pee in other videos. And then I peed and they looked at it with a fucking infrared camera. And they're like, wait, that's kind of funny. So they kept it in the video. And I think, I don't know if this is true. I've never fact checked it. I'm one of the first uh, signs of pissing. <laughs> I brought piss to Mr. Beast. If I have left any impact at all, it is that they now pee on the channel. My impact knows no bounds. Taylor? Yeah. Is the rope still good? Yeah, you have plenty of rope. Mac, you doing okay? Uh, is Mac I got plenty of rope. Them? We should just untie the rope, Mac. I got so much so rope, and weight. by rope, I mean my jizz. Now we have no rope, and we're so far away from the beach. There's no way they're not getting seasick out there. Oh, look at that storm. Is that a storm? Boys, we better hurry. That's rain? That's rain. Something tells me this rope snapped somewhere. <laughs> no. Well, you know what we can do? We can start fishing. No, I wouldn't start fishing yet. He's in the water. Guys! Your rope came off! You see any fish down there? I don't see anything. None yet. We have the rope! Hey! Yeah, wh and, and what? And what? You gotta get them the rope. Oh, you got something? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Hey! We got a fish! Hold on, hold on to him. Yeah! Oh, got him! Yeah! yeah. Two hours of fishing and 200 fishes worth of calories burned. All they had to show for it was one fish. Is this fine to eat? Yeah, of course. It literally tastes like fish from a supermarket. I mean, you don't. <laughs> That's gotta be the dumbest thing he's ever said in a video. That on God has to be the dumbest thing a man has ever said out loud. <laughs> Son of a Bitch, the fish they make in a lab taste like this. <laughs> You're telling me we could just kill the things that happen in nature for our sustenance? You know where fish in the supermarket come from, right? Where? The ocean. And even though this fish from the ocean was surprisingly good, it was time to eat something a whole lot better. S'mores. 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 First off, 
You need to burn the bacteria off your stick? Oh, I didn't know that, actually. You seem like you've done s'mores before, Jim. Well, as a man who owns a chocolate company. Oh, Mac! Ah, what are you doing? Oh, oh, God. Oh. You take the Feastables chocolate. You never apply the mushroom to direct heat. Oh, my God. He did a fucking bang-up job. That looks amazing. I'm not even referring to the chocolate here. I'm referring to the, the, to the actual mushroom. What am I saying? Oh, it's called a marshmallow. I am so sorry. It is my French accent. It takes over. In France, we call it a chamallow. It is similar like to mushroom. It is, it is legume for mushroom. It is chamallow for marshmallow. It is fucking hard. Crunch it like that while it's still hot. Look at that. that. Make sure to try out our new Feastables bar. People are actually liking it so much, it's sold out in most stores. Don't worry, we're doing our best to restock it as fast as we can. You've never had a s'more in your life until you've had a s'more with Feastables on it. Like clockwork. <laughs> that sounded like a catchphrase they cooked up. Am I, kid am I crazy? Somebody at Feastables came up with this line. They're like, Jimmy, hear me out. You've never had a s'more until you've had a s'more with Feastables. And then Jimmy's like, I like that. I like that. That that's marketing, baby. That's a hundred percent marketing. That's got marketing department written all over it. <laughs> Somebody got a raise. We lay down to go to bed, and it starts raining. Why is it that Don Draper, Jimmy? Why do people buy chocolate? That whenever we do survival videos, it literally only rains when we're trying to sleep. I'd say that was a very successful day four. Yeah, I agree. You caught a chicken. I caught a fish. Here's the three more days of stupidity. Yeah. yeah. I feel like he stopped talking about Mr. Beast Burgers because it's gone. He canceled Mr. Beast Burgers. Then he got sued by the company that he worked with to make Mr. Beast Burgers because they were mad that he canceled it. Thank you for $10, Logan. Cool. I have no idea what Thank you for the bidet. You suck. Now I need it. I will say that video that I did with Linus, we had so many bidet sales. And I'm not even talking about the sales that happened on LTT store. I'm talking about the sales on ass.cleaning. So many people bought bidets. Which surprised me. But I think a lot of you guys didn't even know really about my bidet company until I reacted to that video. Or maybe like you knew about it but like didn't know like what product I offered. Like so many people bought it. It was crazy. Numbers. It doesn't sound impressive but we sold like a couple hundred bidets. Which is a lot when some of them are 500 bucks. Not all 200 were $500 bidets. But. Day to stay up. Five. I was about to say that. <laughs> one of the reasons why we picked this island is there's very one. Thank you. houses or ruins, whatever you want to call it, on this island. And even though they're located on top of a mountain, I say today's the day we explore them. I agree. Disagree. Now that we had all agreed to go to the ruins, we wanted to make sure we didn't start this expedition on an empty stomach. And just as we were eating our bag breakfast, Nolan noticed something more appetizing down the beach. Over there on the shoreline. What is it? There's a goat. No way, bro. There's a goat. Mac, you cannot eat that. You can't. Is this island Ithaca, which once housed the great Odysseus? Tommy. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just read Cersei. I, like, doesn't even have to do with like, anything at all. It's actually one of the worst references I could have made. I just read the book, and I want to fucking brag about it. Oh. Run away, goat! Jimmy! They had goats. They had goats. That's all you need to know. They had goats. Run away! Goat! Get out of here! Yes! Why did you do that? He's our friend! No, he's not. He's food. Oh, once again, Jimmy has scared away my food. And after sparing another animal from Mac, it was time to adventure to the ruins. All right, let's do it. We're almost out of water, guys. I need some for the adventure. I'm gonna try to fill these up with coconut water. I read water Song of Achilles. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, keep going. I'll be there in one second. And what they don't know is I actually have a surprise waiting for us at the top of the ruins. It'll make sense in a little bit. That was kind of weird. I just stayed back and talked to the camera. Yeah, it's kind of like how you lost $1.5 million. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. That is crazy to fucking hang over his head. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Follow me, gang. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy, I believe in you. Crazy. For a second, I thought this was the mountain. Cooked Girl, a we bit. haven't even reached the base of the mountain yet. And while we climb this mountain, I'm going to tell the boys about Western Union. Wherever you are, Western Union makes it easy to send money to friends and family anywhere in the world. We'll be up here. Yeah, you okay, this is definitely fucking he's a pirate by... <laughs> Hello, Clarice. Who's the guy who fucking wrote that song? It's the famous guy, Hans Zimmer. It sounds like he's a pirate by Hans Zimmer knockoff. Am I crazy? Our Western Union to the mountain, yeah. And while we climb this mountain, I'm gonna tell the boys about Western Union. Western Union makes it easy to send money to friends and family anywhere in the world. 
We'll be up here. Yeah, you keep talking about that, Jim. Hey, wait up for me. What the oh, fuck is Western there. Union? Western Union also has a free website and app that's simple and secure. Ain't that so a my bank? Grandma can use it. Even your grandma, Mac. <laughs> you got sponsored yeah, by a bank? Here, I use Western Union to pay the boat. <laughs> Dude, you gotta be careful. Here, give me a second, Western Union. I also use Western Union to pay the boat guy that dropped me off on this island. Because they had been around for 100 years, I know my money got to him, even though I was in the U.S. I can't believe that Mr. Beast uses Western Union. He's gotta be using some fucking... I don't know. I don't even know. It's like Deutsche Bank. Look how far away we've come from our beach. Is that, is that a rainbow? Rainbow right there. Oh, yeah. What the heck? That's awesome. I'm not going to be like a Debbie Downer, but that's rain right there. That giant cloud? That giant cloud with rain Yeah, you're being up. a Debbie Downer. Hey, you can see Sean from here. Rainbow. Dude, he's building the shelter. Sean's making us dinner. Sean! I can see him. Sean! You heard us. Keep going. Wave if you're Hi, Sean. <laughs> oh. oh, he's waving. Is it going to be dark when we go back on this path? Yeah. How are we going to see? Oh, we'll figure that out later. That's going to be unfortunate if somebody falls. Oh. oh. Are you good? You good? I'm alive. <laughs> see that right over there? Boys, come on. Come over here. Welcome it's to the ruins. Ooh. Oh. This is actually sick. Dude. Why is it just a yellow box? Yeah, what is this thing? I'm glad you asked. I paid some guys with Western Union $10,000 to move this box up here. What? Really? <laughs> no one, there's a crowbar in your backpack. That's crazy. <laughs> what do you think's in here? Pizza? You knew that we were going to run out of water. That's crazy, dude. He's so crazy. He just found some dudes. He's like, put this big-ass yellow box at the top of the mountain. This is it's like, it's like what people did in Greek myths. Like what a Greek god would do to entertain themselves with, with the human patrons. Water, so you put extra water in this box. And while we're opening this, there's never been a better time to download or sign up for Western Union. Your first transaction is free. Just go to westernunion.com slash MrBeast. Now I know I could have filled this crate with extra water and food, but instead I brought something even better. Matt, what? does this moment remind you of something? <laughs> <laughs> well, this picture of you losing 800 grand. Now here's a picture of you losing 700 grand. Bro, why? Why go You'll see it one second, don't worry. Now, I didn't do this to make fun of Mac for losing $1.5 million. Really? Because that's exactly what it feels like you're doing. I did this to say, and we're going to give you another chance in one final video. No shot. But this is your final shot. You're going to give me a third shot? Your final shot. I got another shot! If you look at the last video we did, every single comment was, bring back Mac, bring back Mac. I hope you win. That's another shot. More important than your shot. <laughs> There's some ruins over here. Let's go look at them. Third shot, baby. I'm not going to let you guys down again. This building is almost a... Wow, third shot. I did think that was a given because you know I, I but you know it doesn't make sense it has to be the final because you can't give a man four shots rule of three you gotta stop at three i don't know why but it's just the rule century old imagine building this 100 years ago just for a bunch of youtubers to explore it <laughs> whoa this is wicked why is there a cactus up there does the cactus just crawl up there or does someone put the cactus up there the cactus does not crawl up there jimmy it doesn't have legs oh my god Let's check out on the other side of the crate. What an There's inconvenient over there. ruin. This is crazy. Or dude. building, I should say. Trees, like, wrap It'd be so hard to get to shore. Rocks. Would the gang say this was worth the effort? Because I got a third chance, yes, I would. All right, well, he's biased. Would you two say it was worth it? No. There was no pizza in the box, so no. <laughs> By this time, day five sun was setting on the island. And on our way back to camp, we stopped at the peak of the mountain to take it all in. There's no one I'd rather scale the side of a random mountain with than you guys. Thank Aww. you. Maybe Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That's fair. But outside of that, nobody. <laughs> no one too easy to be replaced. He's, he's too quick to give up. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, you can have Dwayne. Yeah, that's fair. You know, if you've never climbed up a giant-ass mountain to see sunrise or sunset with your boys or your gals or your NBs, you should. That's a life-changing experience. But, like, do it serendipitously. You know, you just gotta, you kind of fucking gotta. Don't, like, plan out a hike, like, a week in advance. You just fucking run it one night. I'm gonna be honest, probably gonna remember this forever. Me too. I think this view made the journey worth it. Camp's cleaned up. It's been reinforced from the rain. Coconut water. Meals ready to go. Got a lot more water. It's getting really Damn, dark. Sean. I mean, you can't even see into the woods right now. I don't know how they're gonna make it back from the top of that mountain through all these woods in the dark. This is way sketchier at night. Ow. Cactus. Ow! You good? Just a thorn on my side. But little did we know, running into a cactus in the middle of the night was actually the least of our worries. We ended up hitting a dead end. 
which is a little intimidating in the middle of a forest. Hey, which direction is it? Is it this way or that way? Wait, I can see three different things, dude. There's this right here, and then there's this one right here. This is a path, too. Like, are you I sure, bro? This, or is that it? It's definitely not to follow me, guys. I you got a whole ass drone in the sky. Use that thing. I will pick a random direction. Wait, no, no, I, I think it is to the left. Oh, it is. No, it's right, right over here. Ah, oh, it's raining! And we must have been extra lucky that night because on top of being lost, it started raining. Are you sure this is the right one? Maybe it's this way. Which way are we going? Well, I told you we should fly up. Wait, Chandler! Follow me! Chandler! Why would you split up Chan Chandler? That's not, I know you're heated and you think Jimmy went the wrong way, which you could be right about, but splitting up, I don't think would be. <laughs> No, yeah, two of us made it out because we went the right way. I guess, oh, fucking, yeah, they, they went the other way. No, we yelled, but, yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> How sure are you? I'm 10% sure it's this so way. So wouldn't 90% be better? Are you 90%? Can we choose? It's pouring on the side of a mountain. Go! It's raining. Okay, Wait, why don't we way. choose and then unchoose? I don't care. Oh, boys, this is bad. It is getting sweat. We went Chandler's I really way. I don't think we came up something this steep. <laughs> I, I bet Chandler clutched. And if we couldn't be any more unlucky, on top of it raining while we're lost, we've even got a third thing to worry about. Above you is the most dangerous tree on Earth. If it rains, it will seep poison that will burn your skin. Watch out for the death apple sap because it just rained. What are we supposed to do? Not let the poison drip on you. Oh, oh that is 10,000% a death apple tree, boys. That means we're close. And regardless of if we took the right path or not, we could tell we were getting close to camp. That's sand. That's oh. sand. Thank God. We made it. <laughs> camp is right there. We have a rare opportunity to scare Sean. Are we going to take advantage of that? Yes, of course. Okay. Yep. Oh my god, you scared me. We made it! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's never that great of a reaction, right? It's always like, oh wow, oh heavens. <laughs> You've scared me. <laughs> Back. I made you guys dinner in coconut water. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> Cheers, boys. That would have scared the shit wow, out of me. it tastes like a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> After the hike, we ate, we showered, and when we dried off, we took a second to look up at the stars. Because when you're in <laughs> Wow. That's a funny picture. <laughs> Someone draw it with like a Renaissance era stylization, you know? Little starry night and just four homies in their underwear. <laughs> That's a screen that is a screensaver right there. In the middle of the ocean, it really feels like you're on another planet. But, unexpectedly, around the corner was something we've been fearing this entire challenge. A storm. Can you feel that? Guys, bad news. There's a ton of water on the top of our shelter. I just don't know if that's going to be safe for us to be under it. Despite our efforts from earlier to make the shelter better, water was beginning to pull up on our roof from the storm. All this water on top of us. Is there a world that could bring our structure down? And even though all we wanted at this point was a night of sleep, we had to get up and deal with it. Uh, oh my god. We are absolutely screwed. I'm just getting destroyed and pummeled by rain all night. And after two hours of rain, a damaged shelter and soaking wet beds there was no chance any of us were going to sleep that night it's raining on you at night the worst experience you can have on these challenges i'm so tired hopefully it just passes over and even though this was an all-time low our only option was to wait this thing out fucking p hat fuck ruined my goddamn video it rained all right you were right I'm not gonna lie, the rain last night was pretty brutal. I don't know that I've ever been that cold, uh, ever. What do you want to do today, Nolan? I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I just can't wait to get out of here. This place sucks a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sick and I'm, I'm tired and I want to go home. At this point, the island was making us miserable. This is quickly turning into a little bit of a nightmare. And after six days of physical struggle, our mental health was beginning to suffer as well. There's only so much bagged food you can drink and hours you can lay in the sun before you start to just feel terrible. 
and I'm starting to feel terrible. I have a headache. I am very tired. It was clear that we were going they to have to tilted. take drastic measures if we were going to complete this challenge. Looking for a peach cobbler. Want to look for a peach cobbler? Oh, I found one. So, in an effort to turn things around, we treated ourselves to canned cobbler for breakfast. Very good. That looks kind of heat. Not bad. Yeah. For a can. And with the help of this unorthodox breakfast, can that happen? we were beginning to return back to normal. Go oh, yeah. ahead. <laughs> Straight to the tree. And it became clear how exactly we were going to survive day six yeah. by having fun with each other. <laughs> <laughs> and I began to realize, oh. <laughs> even though we've all done a lot of suffering, why'd we pick the uh, heaviest seat in existence? This whole About trip has been shit. filled with a lot of fun, cheers, boys, and adventure. We did it! <laughs> Moments like these are hard to find. And when I look back on this challenge, we probably won't remember the bad times. Uh -huh. As much as we will the good. It's kind of cool. And with day six of our challenge, fine. Let me recap this entire video in a 42 second wrap. Five bars. Five bars, five seconds. Mm. Yo. Yo. Mm. Cinnamon, cinnamon, all cinnamon, cinnamon, all venom, and hot venom, and cinnamon, all venom, and cinnamon, all cinnamon, and venom, and venom, and venom, give him an enema, enema, shot, venom, melanin, no melanin, oh, melanin, all melanin, all men are friends. Bang. <laughs> all men are friends. Finally coming to an end. We're celebrating our final night with a massive fire. But it's kind of burning us all. Yeah, I'm getting that. It's a little too big. When we wake up tomorrow, the challenge will be over. And as the sun rose on day seven, it's not uh, we broke down to camp be. and cleaned up with one thing in mind. Leaving this place and never coming back. And before we leave, I just want to take the time to say thank you all for watching. All of you are the only reason videos like this exist, and I really hope you all enjoyed it. Mr. B. Okay, all right. All right. Why is no one talking about how caring and accommodative, accommod accommodative Sean was? Sean, literal quiet MVP. Yawning at the end is crazy. Dude, I had a serendipitous yawn. Don't read into it into a way that makes me feel bad for doing my serendipitous yawn. I like yawning. Sue me, officer. Fake video? It wasn't fake. But I don't know why. It's still, you know, it maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe I'm honing in on this thing that ultimately isn't a big deal. But he tried to find meaning in it, and I'm not saying he didn't find meaning of it, but there's no why. No por qué. Ludwig is the only reason Mr. Beast exists. Okay, a little, little over the top, maybe. Well, gel do you use? Uh, American Crew. I want to say. Good video. Good video. Good video. W. W's in chat, even. Ba 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 da ba ba. Uh, no, we're not doing jet lag today. Uh, we are not ending. I'll do my dailies. Come on, I'll do my dailies. Chris Broad, dono shamed you for only giving $500. I had to donate through my credit card. My credit limit isn't that high. And honestly, honestly, okay, he's referring to the, the cyclothon. It's currently ongoing. If you guys don't know about this, if I'm not live, even if I am live, check it out. Connor's just biking across all of, I guess not all of, Southern Honshu uh, until he reaches Tokyo Tower. And uh, he's raising money for the IDF, uh, which if you don't know is the Israeli Defense Fund. Um, and so he's just trying to make some money for that, if you guys wouldn't mind donating. It's 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 the immune deficiency foundation, I think. It does contain the same initials as the IDF, which <laughs> not the most uh 
<laughs> not the the greatest name to have. Yeah, a bit unfortunate. But it's yeah, it's the immune uh immune deficiency, I think, foundation. So anyway, that's what he's raising money for. My heart dropped, dude. Imagine. <laughs> no, he's doing it for uh for mouse because it's uh what I think mouse has. Uh and I, he's like the top raiser for that organization, like bar none. He puts that shit on his back. He, I think he raised almost a million dollars just last year alone. <clears throat> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. One, two, three, four. Ludwig, that video took you 30 minutes to watch. Next time, buy me YouTube Premium so I can watch it on my own. Adam. <laughs> I'm going to time you out for seven days. <laughs> Adam, I'm, you know what? I'm I'm gonna respectfully time you out for how much? How long do I time out for? I want to time you out for until the next Mr. Beast video is out. He uploads on Sundays, so Tuesday to Wednesday, Wednesday to Thursday, Thursday to Friday, Friday to Saturday. I'll do three and a half days. Hi, Ludwig. Three days. How do you think the average viewer would describe one of your streams? Personally, I feel that wisdom is chasing you during your streams, but you've always been faster. Wordle! One, two, three, four, penis. Oh, you think you're clever. How about seethe? Sewer. Oh my god, I thought I binked it. S Celery. Seedra! That's a Pokemon. Seraph. I already used an I. That was dumb. Sir. Sir. Search party. Sir. Sir. Ah. Ah. Sir. Sir. Serl. 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 Serlu. Sertu. Serret. 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 Certo, certo, certa, certo, certi. Serbs. Serbs. Certs. Searles. Cirques. Sir Cerns. Sir 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 <clears throat> Stop the music. I gotta get this in silence. Serve! What if it's not a word? What if it's an April Fool's joke? But they did it late. Oh! Something with a Y. Surly. She had a surly attitude. She was a bit surdy. Oh, that's Cersei. Ah, Sir. Serre. Serroi. Serri. Serri. Sergei, Sergo, Serga, Sergu, Sergi. Oh, Sir! Serut, 
Serra. Serum. Serum. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Burton, thank you the 1399. Holy shit. I'm so high right now. You seem high too. Ha <laughs> I'm not fucking high, Burton. I'm just dumb. All right, New York Times crossword. This requires some thinking song. Selhum. Dude, I can't believe that. London gin. No, London tea. Drink of steamed milk and Earl Grey tea. London fog. That's what it's called. <clears throat> uh, woman celebrating with a band. Um, groupie? Pinky or pinky toe? Uh, fifth? 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 What a phoenix emerges from. With the. From the flame. <clears throat> you ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, time to blow out the candles informally. Um, increase. Uh, skirmish or scuffle. A a Fleming. A flat. A, f a float. Dog in Garfield. Isn't it o o o Omi? Isn't it Omi? From the fires? Rise from the ashes. Yes, that's what it is. And it's Omi? <clears throat> uh, understands as a joke. Gets. Time to blow out the candles. It's time to pray. Increase. Skirmish or scuffle. A fight. Okay, woman celebrating. Uh, pinky or pinky toe is a digit. B day. And finally, rise. What? Oni? Oni chan. I don't know why I said that out loud. Rise. Maybe it's not rise. <clears throat> I'm starting to think it's rise. It's definitely B day. It's definitely rise. It's definitely fight. It maybe it's not Omi. Oh, Opie. Oh, Ogi. O D. Bride. Cause she got married. New York Times Connections. All right, this is going viral on Twitter because everyone is freaking out about how fucking hard New York Times Connections is and everyone gets mad about it. They're always so mad. I can't do New York Times Connections too hard. And then I saw a really funny tweet was, this is what people on Twitter want it to be. And it was like numbers, one, two, three, four, presidents. And it was like Bush, in parentheses, the president. But I think this is one of my stronger ones. Right off the rip, we got Moccasin Slipper. I'm out. I'm out. English major Mamba. really coming in clutch now. Mamba. Boa Constrictor. Mamba Snake. Snake. Uh, I'm out. Bowtie, elbow, pasta. Mm. Tube? Hmm. Isn't Prince a type of pasta? Is that a, no, it's a brand. Wheel.
pokey, poke, poke. Oh, it's poke. <laughs> Prod, s jab stick. Thrust. <laughs> Slipper moccasin. Prince. Okay, it's definitely... Hmm. Pumpkin? Ball. Prince. Slipper. Cinderella. Mamba. Moccasin. Moa. Boa. Adder. Snake. I fucking hate strands. Rolling in the aisles. I hate this fucking game. Rolling in the aisles. Grocery store. I can't believe I just found grocery and it's not right. I can't believe I just did that. No, I, I, I don't know. Bake? Cake? Baker? Soak? Soaker? Uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know what you want from me. Bakery. Rolling in the aisles. Diary. Rolling. What the fuck is it? Grow. Grocery. Store. Dude, I'm so close. Grocery store. Come on, man. I'm right there. I it's not grocery store. Maybe it is actually. Maybe it's groceries. Grocer Groceries? No, fuck. I don't even think it's how you spell it. Not even a word. Fuck. Okay, that's fine. S s sucking. Rolling in the aisles. How about bread? How about like bread? You roll bread? Dough, maybe? Dough? Dog of do d o u g dug is there even an h i don't think i see an h a z rolling in the aisles sourdough there's no dough. No. A Z. Zero. Dude, I... Okay, chill. What is the theme? Bakery rolling in the aisles. Maybe like aisles in the grocery store? So like, what about grocery cart? Shopping cart? Dude, it's definitely grocery store or something. I'm getting mad. Rolling in the aisles. What other aisles would you have at a grocery store? You got... Okay, there's a bakery. There's produce. You need your produce. Aha, I've got you now. 
Okay, all right. All right, we got meat. Okay, you got food. Okay, that was... I think it might be something, though. Could it be fast food? No. Fresh food? Ready, ready food? Like, ready to eat food? You know what I mean? Like, the... Where you get, like, the chicken. I like that chicken a lot. Rotisserie chicken. What do you call that? You call that, like, hot food? Hot food, maybe? Well, we don't have to, we don't have to hone in. Dairy. Dairy, you have a dairy aisle. You got a dairy aisle, you got meats, you got produce, you got bakery, you got uh You got bread? I guess that's bakery. Uh sugary cereals. <laughs> Soda pops. Beer. Booze? Booze. Booze. No. There is a Z, though. Frozen. Freezer? Why the hell would that not work? Zen. Fro... Frozen. Okay. Tor. Store. Grocery store. I see it, finally. Finally. And then it's seafood. Oh my god, I fucked on that one. Took me a bit, but I got there. I got there, man! Uh, dude, I can't believe I had grocery for so long, I couldn't find store. I should have found the Spamagram a while ago. Spell check, okay. Axel. A noun meaning a pin excavating. A verb meaning to form a cavity or hole in results. A verb meaning to proceed premium. A noun meaning a reward chain. A noun meaning easy cholesterol. A noun meaning a waxy, fat like substance. C twenty seven H forty six affirmation. A noun meaning the act of affirming. I'm back. Futility. A noun meaning the quality or state of being futile. Mandarin. A noun meaning a public official in the Chinese Empire of any of nine superior grades. Mandarin. Colleagues. A noun meaning an associate or co-worker, typically in a... I'm so back. Vancouver. A biographical name meaning George 1757. 1798 English navigator. Vancouver. Sinai. A geographical name meaning peninsula, forming an extension of the continent of Asia in northeastern Egypt between the Red Sea and the Mediterranean. Sinai. A geographical name meaning peninsula, forming an extension of the continent of Asia in northeastern Egypt between the Red Sea and the Mediterranean. Known age. A noun meaning minority. The word originates from Middle English, combining Anglo-French non with age. Known age. A noun meaning minority. The word originates from Middle English, combining Anglo-French non with age. Known age, a noun meaning minority. Yes. Aisles, a noun meaning a passage, as in a theater or railroad passenger car, separating sections of seats. The term originates from Middle English. Nudie branch, a noun meaning any of an order, nudibranchia, of marine opus the branch mollusks, without a shell in the adult state, and without true gills. Fuck. Okay. You know what? Honestly, honestly, how the fuck did I mix, mix up cholesterol? Oh, it's cholesterol. I wrote cholesterol. Cholesterol. Mandarin. That was dumb. Sinai. That was hard. Nudie branch. Okay. That, you know what? Actually, I'm not even mad about that. Why is aisles in hard? I got no nage. I got no nage. So whatever. It da da my da but something even of dent my butt my lovely my humps my my neck my neck my neck 
my back, my pussy and my crack. No. Uh. Oh, can't touch this. Got there. I'm on fire today. Come on. Colin Firth, Julia Roberts, Renee Zellweger. Wait, I can do this one. Oh, this is a movie grid I can do. Hold up. I got to get a water. All right. Okay. Comedy. Comedy. Colin Firth comedy. <sighs> Some British shit. Uh, Julia Roberts comedy. Okay, let's bang out a couple of Julia Roberts. Comedy, let's go Oceans. Is that a comedy? Made me laugh. Released from 1990 to 2010, Ocean's 12. Y you know what? Give me Pretty Woman. Nope. Yeah, give me Pretty Woman. Uh, three or more word title. What's that one? Nodding, Nodding Hill. That's two words. Uh, three-word title with Julia Roberts. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. No, she's not in that. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. It is, uh, it's, uh, okay, it's Julia Roberts. It's, it's the name of a human. It's like Emma Gladstone. Uh, it's only two words, too, though. Fuck. What am I thinking of? It's Julia Roberts... You know what I'm talking about? Is she an E Pray Love? I feel like she just might be, right? That's Tina Fey. Is she an E Pray Love? E Pray Love. Is that just Tina Fey? Uh. God damn it, Julia. What's that movie? She's the it's the it's the biographical movie. I think it won an Oscar. She maybe won Best Actress. She depicts this person who finds out the water is not all good in their town. Uh, 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 uh Sandra, no, Mick, Mick, uh, oh, mm, fuck. Oh God, it. I just had it. Susie. I think it's I think it's two words. I think I'm fighting a bad fight here. Let's move on. Colin Firth. Colin Firth. Is he in No, that's Hugh Grant. Right? Notting Hill, that's Hugh Grant, not Colin Firth. What's he in? Comedy. What's that one fucking British ass movie about Christmas? Christmas. Fuck, what is it called? Um It's the one with Bill Nye and he has a he's a hit he's a hit rock star and he makes a Christmas song and Colin Firth's in it for some reason. Alright, let's move on to Renee. At the risk of perhaps coming up dumb. Ain't she the one that's in that huge movie series that there's like 18 of them? It's the name of a woman. It's called like, um, oh God. It's called like, um, Mary Poppins. <laughs> no, it's not. It's called, um, something N. I want to say Natalie, Na Nancy, no, no, um, maybe something B, 
something B, but Bell, 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 be, be, Bren. It's just like the name of a woman. A name a woman, Ludwig. Name a woman. Penny. Protect. Dude, what is it? Do y'all know what I'm talking about? I know I can't actually read you guys because you're an emote only, but you know, do you know what you're, do you know what I'm talking about? Rishit, thank you very much for the membership. It's called like um, Nancy Drew, but for like adults. But she's not a detective. Oh fuck, man! It's uh, it's like something Beal. Beal. B. Blah, blood. Where are you, blood? What the fuck is it called? God, this is bad. Julia Roberts. I don't got shit. I don't have shit. Julia. Julia. Aaron Brockovich. It's two words. Well, I got, I got there. So now I need to do the same thing with Renee Zellweger. Because if I'm right about this, I'm pretty sure it hits all three of these categories in the same universe of this movie series. And I can bang out Renee Zellweger, which would, which would feel nice. Colin, I really just got to get that Christmas time down. It's, um, it's like all of us or like, it's the ensemble British one. A very, it's honestly like a very goofy movie, but like a very British comedy Christmas movie is what they probably should have fucking called it. Uh, P.S. I love you. Is Julia Roberts in Up in the Air? No, that's just because George Clooney's in it. And I assume because he's in Ocean's 11 and 12 and 13. Uh, Colin Firth. Colin Firth. Colin Firth. Fuck you, Colin Firth. I'm sorry, I don't mean to lash out. But I'm getting mad. Because I can't think of his damn British movie. Uh, ooh. Nanny McPhee. What is that? Lawless Guy, thank you very much for the 50 gifted subs. Holy shit, that's a lot of gifted. Um, I can't think of it. I can't think of it. I'm really not happy with myself. I cannot think of this Christmas movie. And I can't think of a Renee Zellweger film. It's some with a B. I know there's a B in it. I know there's a B in it. I know it. Chad, I know it to be true. And I know it's not Dream 9 Toriko and One Piece and Dragon Ball Z Super Collaboration Special. I know it's not that. I know two things. I know two things. I'm strong. Lo love actually. Love actually? Love actually. Bang! <laughs> Wait, hold up. There's a sequel called Love Actually Sucks. What if he's in it? You win some, you lose some. You win some, you lose some. Released from 1990 to 2010. Kingsman. Kingsman! Kingsman, the golden circle. Wait. Which one came out in 2010? Oh, God. I should have done it in reverse order. Uh, Secret Service comes first. So maybe that one's earlier. E. Ugh. 
Ugh. Okay, this is bad. I I literally fucked this up. I should have put Love Actually in 1990, 2010. I should have put Kingsman in... Con Fuck. I fucked this. I fucked this. What is, a, what is a damn Julia Roberts movie? Eat, Pray, Love. I think she's in it. Come on. What was I thinking of with Tina Fey? Uh, all right. Give me, give me the fucking Renee Zellweger series. It, 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 it is. Renee Zellweger. Movie 43. I'll take five. Bridget Jones! God damn it! God damn it, I couldn't think of Bridget Jones. God damn it, I knew it was a B. I knew it! I freaking knew it, man. God damn it, I could have... You could do Bridget Jones all three and just fill up the category. God damn it. Bridget fucking Jones and Colin Firth is in Bridget Jones. Oh, man. That frustrates me because I knew it. Because I knew it. I said it. I said it, too. Man, I Bridget Jones, I could have swept that. And if I just fix this up a bit, I forgot he was in Mamma Mia. To be honest, he's a little more forgettable compared to Pierce Brosnan. He did win the Academy Award for the King's Speech, but I never watched it because uh, it seemed boring. It seemed boring. The Daily Dozen trivia. We got NFL. Let's take a look. After backing up Steve Slayton and Ryan Motes as a rookie, this second-year Texans RB had a massive breakout in 2010, leading the NFL with 1,600 yards and 16 TDs. It's Arian Foster. He's a vegan. Totaling 9,700 yards and 87 passing TDs, QB Chad Henney was a fourth-year starter at this Big Ten school from 2004 to 2007. Big Ten? Michigan State. Former MLB Skip Shoemaker has been the manager of this National League East team since 2022. Skip Shoemaker. Give me the Seattle Mariners. That's the West. Give me the... The East. National League East team. Give me the Nationals. No. Hoover. Deketier. Dothan. Alabaster and Prattville are all top 20 of the most populated cities from this U.S. state. Does that have anything to do with the dam? Alabaster. Alright, let's do some narrowing down. I don't think it's... I don't think it's Texas. I don't think it's Arizona. I don't think it's... In fact, I don't think it's any West Coast state. Could be New Mexico. Hoover. I'm gonna go Iowa. Fuck. Wow. That is not a great combo. I'm gonna come clean. That's a bad combo, even. I really don't like what I'm looking at. It scares me. Is that Jason Sudeikis with a beard? Or is that... Who's that fucking late night show host? He's got late night show host hair. I would know. It's mine. It's late night with... Seth Meyer... No. What's that fucker's name? I might not even be him. The beard is really throwing me for a loop. Who's the face? Olivia Wilde? Dude, what if it's Olivia Wilde and Jason Sudeikis and they're doing some fucked up shit? Founded in Colorado in 1977 with initial focus on soy products, this brand of dairy substitute products known for their soy milk, almond milk, cashew milk, and oat milk creamers. Oh my god, I buy it. I literally buy this product. 
they have like a fucking pink thing in their in their in their label to make almond milk. Almond Breeze. Set in the office and studio of a fictional late night talk show, this MV, uh, HBO sitcom starring Gary Shandling and Jeffrey Tambor in uh, Rip Torn ran from 92 to 98. I don't know. Uh, the Wire. <laughs> Based on a children's novel of the same name, this 2009 Wes Anderson stop-motion animation featured, uh, it's called The Fox, Mr. Fantastic Fox. 2019, the singer had two breakout top five hits on the billboard, Good As Hell and Truth Hurts. 2019, it had two top five hits, Good As Hell and number one hit, Truth Hurts. This is embarrassing to not know. Truth Hurts. Wait, the gender is ambiguous. I was assuming it was a guy. Perhaps sexism at work. This singer had two breakout top five hits on the billboard. Good as hell and truth hurts. I don't know. I don't know. I literally don't know. Can't go wrong with Beyonce. Apparently you can. That is maybe my worst ever. It was Lizzo. Fuck. It was the Larry Sanders show. Shit. It was Silk. I knew that. Fuck. It was Ewan McGregor and Lisa Kudrow. Oh my god. That, it looks like Ewan McGregor's hair now. I didn't know it was a beard though. The beard threw me off. It was Alabama. It was the Miami Marlins, and it was Michigan. Oh, that hurts. That hurts that I went Michigan State. Wow, that was a tough one. Let's make it up with travel, where we're going from Eritrea to Syria. And if you're going to Syria, you got to go through Damascus. You got to go through uh, Turkey. Fuck. Got to go through Egypt. What connects e Egypt in Syria? You might ask. Georgia. No, I'm being dumb. It is Jordan, perhaps, is a quicker way. That doesn't count. Great. What about, uh, give me a Israel? Okay, that connects. Okay, and then we have to get over here. I think we do that via Mali. And by Mali, I mean Somali. That was bad. It was Sudan. Ludwig, if you got Sudan, it would have been Jiges. I don't think I would have gotten Sudan. I would have gotten Sudan, actually. I definitely would have. I always think Somalia is just like right up here, but I forget this is ocean waters. Because you need ocean waters, because it has the Gibraltar... Not the, not the fucking Gibraltar Strait. What's it called? That thing where the boats go through? I forget what they call that shit. Hey! Alright, moving on. Next one it is... Suez Canal. Cost Codal. Oh, wow. A marshmallow mug topper. Taylor, can you try daily game Pimantle? Maybe I'll check it out. Enjoy is a perfect hot chocolate topper. What? What the fuck is this contraption? This is a waste of money. So it's a snack that you put on top of a hot chocolate. That seems to be marshmallow coated in chocolate drizzled with caramel and some sea salt. I mean, it kind of looks yummy. What's that British mushroom? Or not mushroom. Why do I keep calling it mushroom? Marshmallow? That British marshmallow snack? Is it even British? Is it even marshmallow? What am I thinking of again? I forget. Nine ounces. That's not a lot. It's a 12 count. I guess they're light because it's marshmallows. A 12 count for this. I mean, really shouldn't be spending more than $5.99.
These things are a fucking scam. $8.99? Okay. That's insane. That, I, that is such a scam. That might be one of the worst items I've seen at Costco. $9 for 12 marshmallows, basically. For the purpose of putting them on hot chocolate. That's crazy. That's crazy. Here one last time to say goodbye. Goodbye, P-Hat, p, -hat, p -hook. Time guesser. What the fuck? Sias cosa de molts mal de testimony false. This seems like a protest. Or maybe their names. I can't tell yet. They speak Spanish here. This is like the year 1904. Where are we? We got a hut? Bunch of fancy looking kids? Spanish as the text? Or wait, is it Portuguese or is it Italian? It's Italian, Ludwig. Cosa de molts mal, de testimoni false. Girona. Let's go Italy. Specifically, let's let's get our ass in Sicily. It was Spain. The year was amazing, though. It was a cat. Oh. It was a Catalan school, which is why I didn't recognize it as Spanish. Catalan. Kind of a mixture between French and Spanish. I don't know why I went Italian. That doesn't really help me there, but. All right. This is the 1970s because it looks like the 1970s. And we are in. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to read this sign over here. I can't read it. That's fun. I don't know. I assume people who do handstands are American. I don't know why I assume that, but that's my first thought. I do think it's possible, however, that we are in the UK. Just because these cars seem to be parked on the left. I also think my 70s guess might be a bit late. Let's go UK. Let's go London. Uh, 1972. Might even be earlier. 1968, seven. I should have kept my time, but my guess was amazing. It was two girls turning cartwheels in South London, 1975. I was so apt and I just, I talked myself out of it. That is a Nazi flag. <laughs> um, And that's the Olympic flag. So piecing two and two together, I believe we're in Nazi Germany in Berlin during the Olympics, which I think famously was held. Hmm. Before the war, the war was in 1939. After Hitler rose to power, that was 1933. If we do some math, the Olympics happened in the year 2000. Subtract 80 years, that's fine. 1922, 4, 8, 3, 2, 3, 6. Let's assume it was the 1936 Summer Olympics, which took place in Berlin, Germany. And we are driving down some famous street. Uh, let's pick this street right here. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit, that's a great guess. That's a fucking great guess. Damn! I think it's my first ever perfect score. Holy shit. That felt good. That street did look good. I was going to say, it was like a double-sided street. I was like, this looks good. It's downtown. It's the only street that has two separate sides. Ooh! 
I, even, I, 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 I got lucky that that wasn't 4,999 because I think if I was another five meters off, I'd probably get it, uh, a, a point off. Damn, that felt good. The, the year is easy. The year is easy. And, and, and to be fair, the location is not too hard either. Actually, this is this is a relatively easy one, but I'm happy in the the speed in which I got it. Uh, ooh, dope ass motorcycle. I would wear a helmet. I'm supposed to ride for the slide, not the ride, or excuse me, dress for the slide, not the ride. Uh, I don't know. If I didn't know better, I would assume this is Woodstock Festival, 1969, Woodstock, wherever the fuck that is. In fact, I might just think it's Woodstock. Where's Woodstock? New York? Or is it in California? Fuck, where's Woodstock? On God, I don't know where Woodstock is. They replaced that shit with Coachella. Is it California? I feel like it might be California. Woodstock. No, no, I feel like it's not California. I feel like I'm crazy right now. Woodstock. I feel like California didn't have that that swing back then. No, no, no. I think it's New York. Is it New York? Maybe it's Pennsylvania? I feel like it's just somewhere in the fucking... Fuck me. I got, I'm fucked up. I'm fucked up. It doesn't pop up on a damned map. Not help me out. Utica. Ain't that what they call you when you get your balls chopped off? I just vaguely remember Woodstock being kind of near my hometown. But maybe I'm wrong about that. Let's just go bumfuck New York, pray. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's a great guess. It's a fantastic fucking guess. I banked Woodstock, too. Holy shit, I'm cooking. I, I could have got a little closer for sure, but I, I just really couldn't find Woodstock on the map. To be fair, it still doesn't pop up. I'm happy I remembered it was New York, though. Look at that, man. People arriving at Woodstock Festival, 460,000 attendees flooded the small town. Oh, it's not even in a town called Woodstock. It's in a town called Bethel. <laughs> so I, I would have wasted my time. I, I, I remember it being in New York because I remember thinking like, I remember hearing about Woodstock and I was like, oh, I hope they do that again. I would like to go. New York is not too far away. I remember thinking about this as a kid. And then I realized they don't do it again. That was a good ass guess, too. Now, this is not going to be so good of a guess. Uh, what are these? Fucking. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. It, <laughs> but it could be Celtic. It could be Norse. You know, I. The snow-kissed mountains. I, I mean, I'm assuming this is, like, Scottish or some shit. And it's, like, these mountains here. And it's some fucking Scottish festival that dates back hundreds of years. And they got the old, the old homies running it because they're the closest to <laughs> the people who used to do it. So they're the most trained. And as far as when, I don't know, man. Give me, I mean, I guess there's cows. We can't be too close to the mountains, right? Let's go like Thornhill. I don't see any lakes, though. I don't see any water at all, actually. Just kind of stressing me out. Could it be Ireland? Does Ireland have mountains like that? No way, right? Wales does. Could it be Wales? What if it's Wales?
All right, let me go Wales 2000 fucking ah, I feel bad about Wales. I feel like it has to be more north for that amount of snow. Ah, maybe it's wrong. Uh, let's just go Wales 2019. Fuck it. It was 2017, and I should have guessed it's the Alps. That mountain face is a little too iconic. We are in Switzerland. No, we're in Italy. We're in Italy. A group of Alphorn players performing Dolmites. It's called an Alphorn. Well, that fucking... That puts a damper in my sails. Either way, a fantastic score, 42,666, with a perfect score and an almost perfect score and 37,000. That's a good run. That's a run to feel good about. Uh, all right, next. What do we got here? The fuck is this thing? What is, is this damn Egypt? No, it's way south of Egypt. Is it Lesotho? Nah, it's way north of that. Is it the Central African Republic? Nah, it's way south of that. Is it the Congo? Nah, it's south left of that. Is it perhaps near Botswana? No. So it's on the left side of the mid-African coast. Straight up Congo. Angola. I'm not getting there. I don't think I would have banked in Angola today. I'm not going to lie. Clevin donated $100. Hey, Logan, back from the forest. You laugh. You, I laugh. I lose $100. TTS donations. 20? Twenty. May. Oh, October. Okay. I got scammed out of thirteen thousand one hundred dollars. Maybe buying the golden kappa emote from Cuties uh, uh, Gala, which happens last year. Maybe. September? September 2023? October, okay. I found out how old my viewers are. I think I did a cent. Wow! 75,000 subscribers. Holy shit, okay. I want to say I hit 100,000 January 2019. So maybe. No. No, I would have hit 100,000 later. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. When did I hit 100,000? It's January 2019. Let's go. Wait, no. When did I go full-time? Hold up. I went I went part-time May 16, 2018. I went full-time February 16, 2019. I started my YouTube channel out. I had about 10,000 subs. Uh, I would not have gotten... A hundred thousand until maybe November or October. Let's go October. Oh. Okay, not a bad guess. Cooking expensive steak in a toaster. I remember making the thumbnail for this video pretty rushed because I was doing State Farm Gamerhood Challenge, which was February 2023. A day in the life of a Ludwig viewer. This is a fun thing that we did. This was a couple of years ago now. Probably 2024 right now. Probably 2022, maybe February. September 2021, okay. Not bad. That's a that's a pretty good score. That's a pretty good score. Two one months off, one exact on. 
Should have spent a little more time on this one. That's good. Bazingle, I'm a hater. Guess the game. Uh, Final Fantasy Seven. No. Final Fantasy. No. Uh, Metal Gear Solid. Five. Dark Souls. No, Bloodborne. Uh Wow. Dragon's Dogma One. <laughs> oh, uh now I got it. It is Silent Hill. Sorry, I misspoke. I meant to say it is Resident Evil. Last guess. Ah, it's Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Apparently, it's called Thief. I never heard of this damn game in my life. Can you guess the Valorant rank? Okay, they popped off at getting one kill through smoke. So they can't be too high rank. You're crazy. Clip cuts off. Let's call it silver or gold. It was diamond. Ooh. 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 Spike down A. Hi, Coots. That's like it. Hi, baby. I'm watching an immortal level player. I got spike for him. Probably me. Hi. I think it's uh maybe Ascendant or Immortal. It was Ascendant. Lovely. Final clip. Well, that was pretty lucky. I'm not going to lie. Was that even... Were they even blinded? No. They weren't blinded. Okay. Yeah, let's not even worry about the fight. Oh, never mind. We're back. Okay, we half shot it. I love that. Okay. All right. Nice. Unlucky, really? Oh, lucky? I got to assume it's silver. Dude, really? Fair enough. I said fair enough. Chat. Oh, food guesser? Yeah, I'll throw that in.
All right, we are looking at a beef, onion, bell pepper, tomato, paprika, garlic, caraway seed, beef broth, salt, pepper, potato meal. It looks fucking delicious. Here's another angle. And here's it with a little sour cream. I got to assume this is like a hearty Polish meal. We are hot, hot, hot. They want us to go a little further south than Poland. Maybe give me a Slovenia. It borders Slovenia to the east. What borders Slovenia to the east? Hungary. It's goulash. I love goulash. I didn't know it was hang Hungarian. Maybe that's crazy to say. This is tiramisu. It's Italian. Uh, this is boba. It's Korean? It's Japan? It's way south. It's Thai? It's uh, Chinese. It's Vietnamese. Oh, it's Taiwanese. Taiwanese. I did not know that. Bubble tea originated in Taiwan in the 1980s. The drink became popular in Taiwan before spreading to other parts of the world. The exact origins are unknown. You live in Cali, how do you not know that? Because they're not usually branded Taiwanese boba shops. It's like boba time. And they have a mascot that looks like a cloud that's having the greatest day of its life. And in that, it doesn't leave a lot of room for... Hey, Lud, have you tried Pimantle? Think it would be a good one for your list. Pimantle. No. No, this would not be a good one for my list. Thank you for the uh, suggestion. Uh, I looked at it for a few seconds. I don't love it. MXS plays tomorrow? When? They play in 13 hours, so they play at, oh, wow, they play kind of early. They play at 1 p.m.? Okay. All right, we'll, we'll, uh, I can go live early. I can go live, we'll watch MXS, and then we'll do our tier list, and then hopefully I'll do my book review. That's my, my game plan. Uh, chat, I'm going to wrap up for tonight, though, because apparently I have to be live in 13 hours, so I got to deal with that. Uh, so I'm going to wrap up for today. I wanted to just do a short stream, but just get back in the swing of things after taking a nice day off. No Bellatro, no. I'll be live tomorrow, though. Appreciate y'all watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Do something nice for future use. Kickflip stream might come soon, actually. Might come soon. But for now, I got to go. Have a good one. Appreciate y'all watching, hanging out. Have a great rest of your evening. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, y'all. I uploaded a new mogul mail if you want to check it out. Or not. I don't know. Do you? Peace.